Good evening, uh, we present a news summary. The National Assembly has obtained a copy of uh, Travisory's uh, contract. Permission is needed to access information from the document, which is under strict supervision of the Speaker's office. Speaker Roger Monsien said he took the decision on the request of uh, Travisory in line with provisions in the contract that confidential information be kept out of public domain. Speaker Monsien made his statements today at the start of this week's session of the National Assembly. And the two leaders in the Assembly, Sébastien Pillet and uh, Bernard Georges, have given their reactions to the Speaker's decision concerning restric restricted access to the Trivisory contract. The leader of the opposition, Sébastien Pillet, has once again denounced, according to him, the unfavoured will of the Minister of Transport not to reveal the clauses of the Travisory contract to the Seychellois people, then try to mislead the members of the Assembly. He concluded his indictment by asking that the terms of the contract be disclosed to the public. For his part, the leader of government business in the National Assembly, Bernard Georges, recalled the confidentiality clause stipulated in the contract in question, which, according to him, justifies the decision of the Speaker. He then pointed out that the confidentiality clause, when it exists in a contract, has always been respected even by the previous government. We recall that the Travisory contract was the subject of a P&Q from the leader of the opposition in the Assembly, and more recently, Mr. Pili tabled a motion requesting a copy of this document. Vice President Ahmed Afif has confirmed that uh, Cabinet held a retreat at Kaplaza restaurant on the 18th of this month to get together formal, informally to discuss difficulties the country is facing. He added that cabinet members contributed towards paying for the location and meals during the day-long retreat. Vice President Afif was answering a private notice question from the leader of the opposition, Sébastien Pillet, on the retreat and how much it had cost in, in terms of taxpayers' money. The Indian Ocean Tuna Commission will be meeting again in February next year to sort out differences between members of the Commission regarding the issue of fishing quota of yellowfin tuna since no agreement has been reached on the issue. Speaking during a press conference yesterday afternoon on the outcome of the 26th IUCT meeting held last week, the Minister for Fisheries, Jean-François Ferrari, said he was disappointed with certain positions that a number of countries adopted on uh, the issue when they were not willing where they were not willing to compromise or negotiate for a common ground the meeting was organized last week to discuss the conservation of tuna and tuna like species in the indian ocean i'd like to say that uh, we have been reaping the benefits of uh, the recent meeting that we had in seychelles for the ministers of fisheries of the indian ocean islands uh, we now see much better cooperation and collaboration amongst this group of countries. So this is already this is already good news. The disappointing news is that some countries have clearly said that they are not prepared to make any concessions. They are not prepared to, to negotiate. They came to IOTC, stuck in their ways, and. Uh, refusing all restrictions and all limitations. But this cannot be, because if we want to rebuild the stock, we have to make efforts. Now, despite this failure, because we, it has failed, we don't have an agreement this year, the Commission has tried very hard not to allow the situation to get worse. So the, the Indian Ocean Tuna Commission, and I'm very grateful for all the efforts that they put, will be convening again in February next year in a, in a mid-session uh, uh, meeting, where hopefully we will have been able to engage with our partners and find some common ground. So all is not lost, but we could have done much better. 
The founder of Green Tin Team Foundation, Princess Theodora von Liechtenstein, visited Praline recently. The princess visited the Bicentan Primary School, where she met with uh, students and teachers. The visit continued on Curious, where the princess presented officers from the Seychelles Parks and Garden Authority with two scales, one to measure small tortoises and the other to measure tortoises up to 300 kilo, kilos. Then they went to the Valley de May Reserve and the Trust Nursery at Faubuffet. This was the news summary. Thank you for your attention.